Today we're trying to get a decent uh, Hotel California 12 string sound with the new X MG30. During my latest thread attack, uh, late night, um, four o'clock maybe, a beautiful lady came to my room and she told me to calm down a little bit and to play something more beautiful at least that she can sleep. And uh, then I was taking this guitar and um, I was playing around on the upper neck, which is a 12 string neck, as you can see, this ridiculous headstock here. And uh, yeah, it's always fun to tune a 12 string guitar. Even an 18 string guitar like this, and also this guitar is heavy as shit. But uh, if you got this guitar here, maybe you have to play something uh, iconic like uh, Stairway to Heaven, or in my case I played Hotel California. And although I cannot play it properly, because I've never learned it, I always found the song uh, a little bit, um, you know, a little bit ridiculous because it's consisting of maybe four million guitar tracks. And also they're playing live with maybe uh, 17 guitar players on the stage, which is always something which I dislike. But anyway, um, the song itself, it's uh, it got a nice verse and a very nice guitar solo. And I tried to listen to the to the intro sound. And I was hearing something, um, maybe some flanging or some rotary going on there. So I took out my new X MG30 and I came up with uh, this sound. <laughs> And uh, yeah, let's take a look at the patch. So here I opened the editor for you. And um, as you can see in my effects chain, I don't use an amp and I don't use an IR, at least not in this scene. No gate. What I do use is a, some kind of um, compression, which doesn't affect the sound that much. It's more or less doing what a compressor should do, um, in my opinion. It shouldn't affect the sound, it should just reduce dynamics so that every note is, uh, has more or less the same volume, which is very important with clean tones. Please check out my videos about compression because um, the cleans, um, they're very dynamic. In fact, if you pick a little bit harder, then you get huge volume boosts and uh, you don't want that, especially not in a live situation. So it starts with this compressor and the rest the over the overall level. It's working really fine, so I didn't play around that much with the other compressors here. Uh, most important are the next three blocks. So uh, what I do use is a flanger. In this case, the uh, nice purple boss flanger. I think it's boss. And the um, thing here is, um, it should be used a little bit subtle and creating this, this jet flanging effect. So I raise feedback quite a lot, but uh, I reduce the depth. If I turn it off, you can hear it's, this uh, jet flanging is gone, of course. But also here, it's gives it this nice flanger effect, which you would expect, maybe. And uh, very important is also the EQ. The, uh, the guitar and the, uh, the recording doesn't have that much uh, low end and also not that much mid. It's basically high, uh, higher frequencies. So I just raised it here. If I turn that off, it sounds more or less like a acoustic guitar for, which you can use for strumming.
which is also very nice. By the way, um, if you're not familiar with this guitar, it's basically uh, two guitars, one six string here, which I don't use now, and one 12 string here. And um, you have the ability to switch or select between these guitars. Also, you can use, you can activate both pickups, but um, currently I'm just, I have just activated the upper one. And you have a three-way switch here, which I'm uh, currently, uh, I'm using the middle position. So, yeah, if you want to play Hotel California, maybe you should use this EQ. And very important, the rotary speaker. If I turn it off. Again, it's very subtle. The secret here is to reduce the speed and also the balance. Keep the balance very low. If you raise it, we have this kind of distortion, which you may not want, maybe. In fact, you can raise it a little more here, but... But it starts to, to uh, clip very soon. So I kept it here. And also, if you raise the speed too much, you get a, quite another effect with the rotary. As you can hear, it's more or less this, this whammy vibe thing. Which is definitely not the case in Hotel California. So uh, you should keep it rather subtle, maybe. Anyway, I'm using a little bit of reverb, which is maybe not the case in the original. I don't know, maybe they, they took some room mics to record the rotary back then. I don't know how to record this strange effect properly. Maybe uh, you could try to experiment with some room reverb. But um, I was using the, uh, what was it, the damp reverb because it's, first of all, it's my favorite reverb in this unit. And also, I created another scene for the, for the solo, which I cannot play. But, uh... Maybe something like this. And then I liked uh, a little bit of reverb. As you can see here, the delay is turned on and of course the amp and the IR. What is interesting, I'm using an amp which is the... I think it's the 100 watt Plexi model, as you can see here, <laughs> and this amp sounds really nice um, for light crunch tones, and also for these vintage leads, also for maybe uh, something like. Of course, it's a ton of reverb and delay here. So in a live situation, I would definitely reduce the reverb. But this amp sounds really nice. It has this uh, little bit of... Um, I don't know how to describe it. It's maybe a power amp saturation because I cranked the master here, which is something which people like to do with plexis. Not with the real amps because they're terribly loud, but um, if you uh, have the opportunity to record it, a plexid full volume, maybe you would like to crank the master volume to get some power amp distortion. Which works very well with these amps. As you can see, I don't boost it with anything. Shit. Just crank the gain in the master. And it sounds really nice.
but um, well, that is just a uh, an addition to to the clean tone because um, yeah, I want to have something for the solo. What you can also do to uh, to get more uh, saturation out of the power amp tubes, you can crank the bias here. As you can see, then they start glowing and. You get more edge of breakup. Of course, um, you don't get these tight chunks which you need for metal playing. But for leads, it's a very nice uh, sound, in my opinion. Also, very dynamic. And uh, yeah, I kept the bias in the middle. It was enough for me. Anyway, experiment with that amp model, it's great. Also, I think uh, the other marshals are working really, really well in this this unit. But uh, yeah, back to the clean tone. I think I explained everything which I, uh, which I did in this preset. Maybe I can share it in the Facebook group if uh, I manage how to do it. Uh, otherwise, um, by the way, I'm using a capo on the seventh fret, which was. Maybe done in the original, I don't know. So if you want to play it properly, maybe you can... Goodbye, but uh, be careful. This capo is usually for 6-string necks and the 12-string necks are a little bit wider, so it's not working properly here. Anyway, but I don't have another one, so yeah. I hope you could get the idea how this sounds. So uh, yeah, I hope uh, this helps you. And um, yeah, if you've got questions or opinions about that, please post them in the comment section. Subscribe to my channel, check out my videos. Uh, also, uh, put out a new album, which is called Like Ecstasy. Got a couple of singles on my YouTube channel, also on Spotify. Otherwise, uh, yeah, stay healthy. Hope to see you soon. Goodbye.